So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create at a high level the versions or releases for your project and the epics that come underneath that. Let's find out. The first thing we need to do now is to create versions. So you click on versions there and you're going to click on that to say create version. And the version is basically it's your first release. So um, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to say uh, release one. And the description could be that we're going to launch release one uh, by, you know, Q1 or Q2. But in this case, I'll just leave as a description as a release one as well. And then you're going to give the timelines when this release is going to start, basically when your project is going to start and uh, when it's going to finish. So that you know that within that period, you've got your release and all the epics underneath that will go uh, that needs to be completed. So in this case, I'm going to make it till the end of June and uh, say create. So that gives us the uh, new new version or new release. Next, you click on Epics. At the moment, there's nothing there. You create Epic by clicking on that link. And you can see uh, the issue type here is Epic. And that's what it should be. And the Epic name is what you're going to give it. So Epic is a feature of your project. So every feature of your product is an Epic. Uh, so you want to give a, a very high level uh, kind of a name. So here, if I say error handling, uh, all the error handling uh, kind of stories, tasks will go and need that. And if I want to create another one, I want to click on this create another so that I get the same window staying where it is and I can add multiple uh, epics. So now I'm going to put another epic name maybe uh, to do with the databases all to do with databases. Again, the epic name will be that and the description you can give it, uh, the summary can be uh, the same as well. And then if you got nothing else to create, uh, you can maybe create another one now. Uh, we can talk about maybe the the user uh, screens. That's the what the user is going to be using. Uh, any Anything underneath that. And once you click on that, create another, deselect that, it won't give you that screen anymore. So it's a very quick way of uh, creating epics uh, without having to go back to square one. It just allows you to stay in that window. So now you can see that you have version, in this case, release one, and then underneath release one, you got all these epics. And each epic, uh, you can change the color of that. Uh, so it gives you a default, but you're more than welcome to go ahead and make a change to that. So I'm just selecting a few different colors so that it's very obvious that it is um, it's different now. So that's how you create your versions and epics. So now we have our um, the versions created and the app is created. Now we're going to add more stories, tasks, spikes, whatever, and prepare uh, the backlog and our first print. So in the next video, uh, we're going to I'm going to show you how to prepare the stories, uh, clean them up, and etc. And then uh, add it to your first print so that can be started. That's in the next video.